So do you want to know how to make a RV park staff members or owners cringe? When you pull in to register for the first time at a new park and they're offering free Wi-Fi, and they start talking to you about their amenities and where the hot tub is and uh, the cable channels that are available or the over-the-air channels that are available, when they, uh, when they start offering, hey, we've got these options for TV at our park, and you get a really serious face and you say, oh, no, that's okay. I use Netflix and I stream videos. <laughs> if you want to see people go ghost white or roll their eyes or get nervous or shuffle their feet, this is an awesome way to do it. Just talk about streaming video to your RV at a park that's offering Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi for the RVers. So... <laughs> Uh, a big trend with folks on the road these days, we, we've got access to Netflix and Hulu and Amazon, and um, we don't need your cable hookups anymore. Um, people also travel with satellite, but more and more, we've got some kind of mobile device with us, be it a computer, a laptop, uh, or a smartphone, and we can stream videos from all these services. So, oh, YouTube as well. Now, uh... I've done this for fun with park owners when I've pulled into new places. A couple of years ago, we went to Ajo, and um, we were being given a list of uh, all the options for TV channels and things. And I just said, oh, no, we, we, we stream video to Netflix. And the uh, park manager's eyes got really wide, and she shuffled her feet, and she said, most probably you won't be able to um, watch anything here. Our Wi-Fi is not fast enough. And we've already got our own portable Internet. So... Um, we don't worry about that as much. Um, <laughs> but so for our viewers, there are ways to, um, to save some bandwidth. So, you know, um, my last post, I did a rant about um, unlimited bandwidth and application sizes and that you could get throttled if you use too much bandwidth, even with an unlimited bandwidth plan. Well, there are some ways that you can stream video and not chew through your unlimited data plan. So when you go to a Netflix or an Amazon Prime Video or a Hulu, um, there are settings, there are preferences that you can go in and set up. So I'm popping up on screen here, um, just a quick screen capture of um, Amazon Prime, and they've got a little cog up in the uh, upper right-hand side of the screen. And that little cog, you can change the quality of the video. So you're out you're roaming around, you're having a good time, you're traveling the country, um, and you need some entertainment for the evening, or you run into a rainy, snowy, thunder and lightning kind of day, like I did two days ago. Um, you're stuck inside, you don't have a lot to do, um, so what can you do? Well, you could watch some movies, so if you've got some DVDs along with you, or if you've got downloaded video on your hard drive, or if you've got one of these streaming services. Um, so looking at the screen here, you can see that I've got three options for, um, for my bandwidth usage on Amazon Prime, for instance. And so we can go low quality, um, we can go medium, or we can go you know full on high def. And the differences are pretty amazing. So as you can see on my Amazon Prime, I've got three options for my video, good, which uses about 0.38 gigabytes per hour, that's 300 megs. Better, using 0.86 gigabytes per hour, that's getting a little big. And best, uses about uh, 1.17 gigabytes per hour. So, if you stream low quality, which still looks good, okay? So, um, I've got a 21-inch iMac here, and I think the good quality is okay. And... So I'm using basically a one-third of a gig per hour. So I could watch three hours of shows in the space of the best quality. So the other day, a uh, crazy storm blew through Cortez, Colorado. Um, I did my work for the morning, and then I was basically stuck inside for the day. The winds were shaking the airstream. I wasn't having a great time. And... Um, <laughs> So I decided, hey, let's watch some movies. So I, you know, pulled up my Amazon Prime and uh, I watched uh, two movies and I did it on the lower quality setting um, so that I wasn't really, you know, hitting the network hard for the particular RV park I was at. So there's one way if you'd like to save some bandwidth on streaming, whether it's because you don't want to use up um, your data on your mobile data plan 
or you're at a park that doesn't have the fastest network in the world, um, if you lower your quality settings, you might do better. So either you're going to save um, you're going to save your bandwidth on your mobile plan, or you're going to be a good neighbor at the park that you're visiting, and you're not going to be streaming high def. So that's pretty easy, and um, then you won't give park owners such a big heart attack. So today is going to be a nice day outside, so I'm not going to be sitting inside streaming video. But I just wanted to do this quick little one for you to tell you there are options, and not every day can be uh, exploring a national park day. So when the bad weather comes up, you do have options for streaming video, and there are options that won't give a poor park owner a heart attack when you say the words streaming video to them.